Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Wakar Kadash, and the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, by Hashem, in the name from Mashiach and Abishai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue. And I say Shalom to the uh, elders, by Akim, by Akwaf. I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of this recent news article from the Jerusalem Post. Uh, by Wilders, uh, published February the 7th, 2000, 2024, at Minnesota, Slovakia. And it reads, U.S. detached Russian aircraft operation in the Alaskan Air Defense Identification Zone. The North American Aerospace Defense Commander Norway on Tuesday said it detached four Russian military aircraft operation in the uh, Alaska Air Defense the Russian aircraft remains in the international airspace and did not enter American or Canadian sovereign airspace. So Joel 3 and verse 9, proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty man, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Joel 3 verse 10, beat your plowshares and the swords and the pony hooks and the spears, let the weak say I'm strong. This is uh, Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel 38 and verse 1. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Ezekiel 38 verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Gog and the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Ezekiel 38 and verse 3, And thus saith the Lord, Yahweh thy power, Behold, I am against thee, O God, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Ezekiel 38 and verse 4, And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thy army, horse and horsemen, all of them call for all sorts of armor, even a great company of buckles and shields, and all of them handle swords. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying. Because as we already know, you know, we got the Russian-Ukraine situation is heating up. So Russian military, they've been doing a lot of activities, you know, uh, over there in the, the uh, Yellow Sea, over there in, uh, I would say, Iraq and Syria. So especially with the recent deployed surface-to-air missiles from last year and as recently as well, too. I would say from 2020 to 2023 now to 2024, we've been seeing that as well, too. So this is Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, definitely is in full of play because as we see in Russia, been doing a lot of different mili military activities and different maneuvers that we are seeing. And these are one of them. I mean, it, this isn't really big news, but keep this in mind. We've been seeing the uh, rise in tensions throughout the years in previous years. And as of recently, you know, we've been seeing the escalating tensions between you know, uh, Russia and the United States, while you have the uh, Russia-Ukraine situation is heating up as well, too, and what's taking place over there in Iraq and Syria, because you got Russia and uh, Syria as uh, allies with one another, you know, and not too long ago, you had uh, Russia and uh, Syria recently uh, accused the uh, Israel Defense Force due to criminal crimes, because you got the United States and Israel as allies with one another, so basically, you know, those are escalating up as well, too. So I just want to add an additional note to that. But this recent news article is it, really not much big news. But as I was bringing out those scriptures of uh, Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, verse 1 to verse 4, and uh, Joel 3 and verse 9 to verse 10, we're definitely seeing that of the prime examples that we see in Russia is definitely doing a lot of uh, increasing military activities the previous years and definitely as of recently as well too so with that hopefully this uh sit down lesson was uh, edifying from the jerusalempost.com uh as of february the 7th 2024 by Reuters, and it reads again u.s detached russian aircraft operation in the alaskan air defense identification zone and with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, a Kadash, and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. 
those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole tongue, and Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'aki and Wa'akwaf. Till next time, I will say Shalom.